All right, everyone. Um, just a really quick video. I wanted to show you kind of some details behind the project on the inside. So this is a prototype version of the Pi Girl Zero Advance. Um, I wanted people to just see this so they could see kind of some basics of the inside. So first of all, you'll see just the thinness of the case. So here's the actual the actual uh, bottom case for the design. Um, some iterations occurred after the design I was looking at putting its stereo audio in the original design and there just obviously there wasn't a lot of room especially for the second speaker but then also just to get the amps to work you had to have multiple mono amps for each output it made it very difficult to do so um, you can tell that the button is kind of protruding here we've done some changes or kind of completed some changes since then to, to kind of fix some of those issues but um, this is the prototypes you can see just how tightly packed everything is on the inside um, you can see how these uh, bumper buttons are established in here, and you can see kind of where the um, start select buttons were placed as well. Um, so here's this front of the case. This is actually a design that I, I started uh, during the prototype, and I actually used a, 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 an original um, Super Nintendo controller. It was a broken controller. Um, I think I just had it laying around, but... It essentially just used the, the the Super Nintendo controller. You can use a Famcom controller, so that's the uh, that would be these uh, multicolor buttons. I also have buttons that come as part of a kit. So if you get the kit, you can pick like single color buttons as well. And uh, there we go, that fell out. But you can see how those are held in the the shoulder buttons. So it's got like a I just use a paper clip, and you actually just clip the paper clip, and then use it as kind of the 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 rod to hold the basically to hold that that. Uh, select the, the bumper button in place. So um, I just want to do a quick video here just to kind of show you this inner working of the case and you can see kind of how that PCB fits with all the uh, the Pi. So you can see here's the Pi. You'll actually have the decoder which is here. You'll have the uh, mono amp which isn't on this design but it's right here. Uh, the battery fits here. Um, the 1000C power boost actually fits over on this side. The screen is actually on the other side of the PCB um, and then there's a micro s or a micro USB adapter it fits right down here so everything really tightly packed into this design you probably couldn't pack this any tighter without physically moving some of the circuit board work to the actual PCB I didn't want to do that we could probably have done some of that I've seen designs that where people do this I didn't really want to do that because of the fact that I want to be people to be able to buy these parts off the shelf and just put it together themselves versus having some really majorly proprietary you know PCB I, you get into a little bit of the territory which lesser open source less about open source it's more about proprietary sold products by somebody you know on, on the web I'm not looking to do that I'm just looking to you know help the space so uh, really I think kind of a neat design I just wanted to show people the inner workings a bit and like I said, this is a prototype. This isn't the final design. The final design actually is in the guide. You'll see some changes between this and the final. But take a look, and uh, if you like the video, go ahead and please upvote. And if you if you want to keep following some of my projects, feel free to subscribe and check me out on my website, 3dprintspace.com. Thanks.